All right, y'all. We're back with another video. We are back on the reaction back. Let's talk about it. So, we all know last night was the draft, the WNBA draft. We are here to talk about their salaries. This on the screen is an accurate representation of how much money each draft pick will be making in their first year, second year, third year, and their fourth year option, whether they want to stay with the team or not. And the reason why I'm saying this is accurate is because I went on Twitter, and shout out to President Kamala Kamala, whatever her name is, hand again, 73K, 74K, 82K, 93K, non-guaranteed. It matches up with this. It matches up with um, the salaries. This person was talking about Angel Reese's contract. And it pretty much matches up with, you know, what she said in her Twitter post. And then coming to this account about Caitlin Clark, who only, only makes $76,000 in her first WNBA season. And it matches up with this total right here, 5, 76, 5, 3, 5, 76, 5, 3, 5. And also, this person was saying the same thing about the um, contract. And what's up with this? Going with the uh, contract. Anyways, this video is not going to be long. So, if we look at the draft board, Caitlin Clark, number one pick, is going to make at least 76K, then 78, then 85, and then almost 100K if they decide to stay. If she decides to stay with the fever, if they're not trash. Cameron Brink, she'll make 76. 78, pretty much the same amount of money. So, picks one through four is making the same amount of money. The 76K, 78, 85, and then 97000 almost $100,000 in the first four years. And then picks five through eight make 73, 74, 82, and then $93,000. Nine through 12. Twelve make seventy, seventy-one, seventy-eight, and eighty-nine thousand, and then it just keeps going down from there and there and there. And then I seen Russell Wilson was complaining, saying that they deserve more money. Let's see what the max is. If they want to make a max, so I'm guessing if Caitlin Clark or Angel Reese or whatever, whoever wanted a max, they'll get two hundred and twenty-seven thousand. And the super max is 264000 which is obviously nowhere near an NBA contract. Because NBA players, they're getting paid millions off the gate. It's two things. One, I know this is not going to... It's, it's a lot of money to the average person, but it's really not a lot of money if you're like an athlete or like a rapper, artist, or whatever, because, you know, it's a pie chart. I learned this watching the TLC movie. It's a pie chart. They have to pay a lot of people, managers, uh, cell phone, media handlers. They have to pay a lot of people money to, you know, make sure that they keep their job. So, you know, this is, some of this is going to get cut in half with like bills and expenses, other things like that. So I see a lot of people is complaining that they're not making enough money. The only reason why I believe they're not going to make NBA contract worth money is because they can't dunk. They don't draw enough fan bases, enough people to watch, and they can't dunk. Hear me out. Once women really start dunking, when I mean like windmills, 360 rim grazers at least, that's when the numbers are going to start going up. That's when people are going to start paying for like league pass, to watch the games, pull up to the games, and actually watch like Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese. Yeah, now they're going to start making a little change. They're going to start making noise. But they're not going to make enough money till they start making ooh and ah type of plays. Like real crazy ankle breakers start dunking on folks and things like that. They're not going to make over 100K in their first year till, they, till that actually starts to happen. Do I think that this is lowballing? 
Mm. I think I think this is kind of fair. Because like I said, nobody really watches the WNBA until now. Nobody was watching women's college basketball until last year, when Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark was in the championship game. So all I'm saying is, hopefully they come out here and start spazzing. So, you know, that their numbers can go up and they can get paid more money for players in the future when they get ready to get drafted. But, I mean, this doesn't seem like a lot of money, but it is. At least for a rookie, con a WNBA rookie contract. Now, let's look at the men's contract so we can compare. Okay, because, yes, yeah, you can see here from this site, a uh, real GM. The first pick is making $10 million. And then you come here to the W, they're making 76 k They just, so the NBA could just step on the court and they just make pretty much $76,000 for just stepping on the court. Like I said, the W, like nobody was watching women's college basketball until last year. So this is, this isn't bad, but it's still going, it's a step in the right direction. It's the step in the right direction for, you know, the future to get paid more money. But until then, until women start drawing ooh and ah plays, and, you know, they start dunking and hitting, like, real crazy ankle breakers, because that's what the NBA is doing. That's why the rookies is getting paid so much money, is because look what they're charging. League passes are arm and a leg, jerseys, the sold-out arenas. The NBA could actually afford to look the pick number 30, the last pick in the first round can make $2 million. The W don't even make a hundred thousand, barely a hundred thousand, a four year option. So yeah, I didn't want this video to be too, too long. I seen some other players get drafted. The uh, DeAsia Fair, she had that Tony Montana on. I seen it. I just came with to see what they look like in 2K. When they get their face scans in 2K, that's going to be interesting. I want to see what they look like. Because I'm going I'm to make another vi separate video on it. And if they look trash, there's the cyber faces, it's going to be problems. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't, I didn't expect this video to be too, too long. Seven minutes, yeah, that's about good enough. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about the WNBA contracts. Is this too high? Is this too low? Or is this just right? First first four picks make 70, 76, then 78, then 85, then around 100K in their last year option if they still want to stay with the team. And then 73 is 5 through 8. 9 through 12 is 70. 67, then 68, then 75. And then it keeps going down in the NBA contract. They pretty much just 10 millionaires by the time they even step on the court in their first year contract. And you know, the fourth year is the option as well. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think about that. Is this too high, too low? I'm going to see you guys in the next video, man.